microphone off. It's recording now. Can you hear me still? I hear you. Do you still hear me? Oh, yes, I still hear you. I love your voice. <laughs> All right, now I've got the two different accents working together. Okay. All right, how do we connect this together? Oh, hmm. I don't know. I guess we got to push start. But, uh, mm -hmm. hey. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do my intro and then go on. Uh, go in. Right, go for it. Okay. Hello, y'all. This is Brushfire Wind Dragon, and welcome back. T uh, and welcome to TikTok, a tell for two. I have my good friend here. Uh, what would you like me to call you? Just Roja. I mean, yeah, Roja's good. Roja. Okay. And so we're. It's been a while since I've been able to do any videos. So, but here we go. Uh, start. This is a two-player adventure. Going solo is not an option. Pick a different player each and communicate to solve puzzles either in person or through phone call online chat. The game itself doesn't require an internet connection to play. Hmm. Okay, since we're in different co continents, I don't think we'll be able to see each other's screens. Okay. I'll let you know what happens on this side. Okay. <laughs> okay, and we are using Discord. It's asking to do that. <laughs> okay, choose player. I guess um, you want to be player one or player two? Uh, you take the lead. You be player one. I'll be okay. the player two. Okay, and you picked player two? Yep. Two. Okay. Ready to start right. playing? Uh, yeah, I click start playing. Today, you and your friend received two strange packages, each containing an old clock. You received a package from someone called Amelie Raven, and your friend got one too. Oh, you got a different word. Okay. This clock is part of a game, a gift I made for my sister. To have a fighting chance, play with a friend, and tell each other what you read and see. If you so find... Dear player two, are you, oh, you finished yours, or...? Oh, if you find my sister, tell her I miss her. A Molly. Oh. So what's yours say? It says, Dear player two, I sent one clock to you and one, of your, one to your friend. If you want to play a game... Look into the past together. Remember to wind the clocks up, Emily. Okay. I got a paper clip, which Same wiggles. I, I found a, there's a paper clip on the screen. It wiggles, but it doesn't do anything. I can't pick it up. So, and there is an eraser. Can't move that either. It says it's Sunday, July 19th, 2020. That's true. Well, that's true for me. Okay. This one's saying the same date. 20th of... Hang on. 20th of July, 2020. Yeah. Although, Monday? Monday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did say we were in different continents. Oh. Okay. So... Down. Do you see a box? Oh, you saying we can move about from the screen? No. I see the just the eraser and the paper clip and the letter and the clock. Hmm. I can click on the clock, but it doesn't do anything either. Hmm. I guess I'm just poking stuff. <laughs> Have you tried dragging the screen upwards? So there might be something more lower to the Oh! Desk. 
Okay. Thanks. <laughs> uh, Amali, 1950. Okay, so the pocket watch doesn't want to open. Another disappearance. Uh, the words cut off. The youngest member of... Okay. The youngest member of the renowned clockmaker family, Lark, was reported missing yesterday. Her sister, Amali, told us she had last seen her at 10.30. Oh. The other half says of the article. Understandably oh. distressed, she later corrected her statement and said it must have been an hour and a half later. Contact. If you have seen or heard anything unusual, please contact police. So either 10.30 or midnight. Okay. And your pocket watch doesn't open? Oh, there we go. It's just being very slow about it. <laughs> so, uh, I guess that means I have to turn the clock to 10.30 and that is okay oh that's more like 9.30 okay I'm supposed to wind it too. Yeah. It's turning, but it's not. Hmm. So maybe I do have to put it at midnight. Hmm. Oh! Okay, that was neat. <laughs> This is a copy I made of the world that Lark and I used to know. Okay, from 2020 down to 1927. Oh wow, are you in the other world too? Uh, I can't get the, co the pocket watch to open. Oh. Maybe you have to set yours to 10.30. Because I, I, I set it to 10.30 first, and then I set it to midnight, and that worked. Was the cover already open? Oh, yeah. Um, to get it open, you got to, like, oh, like you do to move the screen around. You hold it, and then you click hold, and then move it. Ah, uh, okay. I got it now. All okay. Right, so... Yeah, and then you uh, turn the dial, the little knob on top. Yeah. It's happening. Yeah. Yeah, it gets all noisy. <laughs> Laric went missing in 1937, but it all started years before. Oh. And now I've got Ben Kim time with you. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, there is just, I turned around and there's just this random giant gear laying by a tree. Like, okay then. Okay, there is a little building there, Raven's Clocks, but we can't go in because it's only open three to nine. Okay. Uh, this seems to be a little train station. But one of the buttons are missing. See that? Looks like the right button's gone. Yeah. Oh! Okay. 
So even with the button missing, you can still move stuff around, but that's not going to work for right now. <laughs> I guess the train's up the hill. Oh. Oh, there's something else. There's a there's a whale. And a uh, path of with lanterns on either side. I guess I climbed down into the well. That's unexpected. <laughs> Why? There's a ladder here. But. Oh. Oh. It seems to be getting darker the farther I go down. There's some kind of slot machine down here. Okay. Huh. I guess I'm supposed to match these. Oh, that didn't do anything. Yeah. Oh, there, and I want to see another house. Can I go up to it? And now I'm inside, okay. <laughs> that happened pretty quickly. There is a light bulb. Oh! Uh, there's a moth, <laughs> and it brought some words with it. I got the little train started. Lark, I hope you like your present. Turn it anti-clockwise three times. Clockwise twice. Anti-clockwise twice. Then keep turning it clockwise. Oh, and do not let go. Hmm. It's three times. One. Uh, uh, yeah, it was anti-clockwise, then clockwise, then anti-clockwise again, and then clockwise. So I wonder if this clue is for the music box, or is it for something else? Oh. <laughs> oh. Did right, it do? I got a, I got a ticket of some sort. Looks like it oh. might be for the path of the train. Oh, cool. The creepiest looking thing. Yeah. Let's see what else. Uh, back at the train station. Hmm. Let me figure out where that button went. I love games like this. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, three to nine. Are we supposed to do three to nine somewhere? Hmm.
I'm so glad this new computer doesn't um, black screen like the other one does. Although you can probably hear it. <laughs> I hit my headset on the tower. But I don't know, can you hear the uh, fans running? They're pretty loud on this side. Alright, I'll see if I put my volume down. Oh! I'm clicking on the big gears outside the Raven's clocks and I, they make sounds. Although this one is just the bush rustling. I think we can change the clock. Yeah, I was trying that. So if you rotate it, let's turn it to three or nine. So I put that on eleven. Oh, mine's gone from ten to nine. The Raven's clock is open. Oh. Okay, I'm going in. Oh, a radio. The oldest raven daughter of Molly. Oh, I found the clockwork cockroach. Cute. Uh, the oldest raven daughter of Molly is a brilliant clockmaker and inventor. Her footsteps. The Raven family moved here a month ago and have worked day and night. Oh. Another pet has been stolen during the night. This time it was Miss Jensen's. A strange occurrence has shook our village. Droves of lifeless... No more walking for five miles to get your letters. It's now March and the... An unusual white raven seems attached to the youngest member of the... Last Is that on each of the frequencies? Yeah, uh, last month the police started getting several reports of pets going, but the different frequencies, they don't have an end. I think I've got your ends. Okay. I, I found the first one that I missed. Last month, the police started getting several reports of pets going missing. By th they are usually followed by the ticking and scuttling of one of her creations. Oh gosh. Oh no. So the clockwork creations are going after the real pets. Well, I mean, they're the alive pets. Um. The oldest raven daughter, Amali, is a brilliant clockmaker and inventor. Her footsteps... Sweet old farm dog, remember to lock your doors until this thief has been caught. Oh. The raven family moved here a month ago and I've worked day and night. Birds have been found scattered across the forest floor. Oh man. This is creepy. Yeah. Another pet has been stolen there in the night. This time it was Mrs. Jensen's. That mu oh, there must be not an order then, so her one should. Her one might have been the dog that was disappeared. Oh, her dog. Oh. Yeah. That okay. makes sense on that one. Yeah, just another pet. And it being her dog, that makes sense. A strange occurrence has shook our village. Droves of lifeless. Ah, the 
birds have been found scattered across the forest floor. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I, I, I did miss one. I think it was the second one. Huh? So it, was, it says here, to be able to open their clock shop today, the 18th. Oh, that must be, uh... Okay, if I can find it. The Raven family moved here a month ago and have worked day and night to open their clock shop. Yeah, we opened for the 18th. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. okay. I got... No more walking for five miles to get your letters. It's now March and the... Construction of our very own post office will start at the end of the month. Ah. There we go. This one has a lot more static. An unusual white raven seems attached to the youngest member of the... Raven family. Let's hope for her sake that it will not go missing like those other pets. Oh. I think there's been a raven following us outside. Oh. Oh. I wound up the... Cockroach and it went back upstairs. Well, okay then. <laughs> Bye. Bunch of clocks in here. So. Oh. Oh, I looked up, and there is a clock in here. Oh, there is a lot of clocks up here, and they all say about the same time. So, quarter to nine? Yeah. Although, I do wonder where the uh, little clockwork roach went. It just went up the stairs, and I can't see. I just see the wall now. Rolling up. Yeah. We can keep going higher. <laughs> oh. Oh. There's a scroll up here. I. Thump thump. Can't pick it up. <laughs> oh, here's a, a calendar. Okay. This here. White raven feathers. And a news article. Oh. So it says, Wednesday edition, in Raven's Clock Shop you can buy all kinds of clockwork, request commissions and get your old clock repaired. Today, grand opening of Clock Shop. The world-renowned clockmaker Mr. Raven has opened a new clock shop in our town. He has said to be an interesting character. Uh, the level of detail is exquisite. Our own queen is said to have a couple of his elegant pieces. Today he's opening his... and then it just stops. Okay, so, um, Wednesday the 19th, what's the month? Didn't he say he was going to open a shop on the 18th? Okay, maybe it's a... Radio? Okay, I'll move it to 18th. Wednesday, 18th, and I just need to know the month. Because I got a calendar here, and it's asking me to do that. Oh! Evidently it's March! <laughs> the calendar is opened! Oh, I got part of a ticket. Okay, well, it's evidently going to stay on the door. Got Gulliver's Travels, watchmaking, um, some sort of lens, a gear, a bottle, the nightingale, longitude, a compass, uh, an auger, and tweezers. Hmm. Can't seem to do anything with them. Any clues for the well puzzle? Um, the t the torn ticket says 00067. I wonder what that's a clue for. Oh, but it does have part of the thing, um, the puzzle. It's got part of the puzzle on there, but we don't have the right button yet to fix it.
got the other half of that ticket right. that you just found. Oh yeah? Yeah, I think that's the starting of the training. You've got the ending of the train pass to take once you find the button. Okay. And there is this scroll down here that I cannot open. I keep going up or down instead of opening it. Hmm. Turn the radio off, I can hear it. There we go. Um, hmm. What is this with that scroll? <laughs> hmm. seen anything for the slot machine in the well yet. Oh. Whoops! Can't go in the uh, clock shop right now. <laughs> slot machine maybe some of the symbols that are fixed are different to my symbols that are fixed okay um the first and third symbols are uh, the first and third symbols in the first row are not fixed and mine are hmm okay what's maybe we can solve this puzzle. Uh, okay so what's the first one show as a solid triangle ah oh. A solid triangle, okay. A s and the second one is a clear circle? The, the one after that is a clear triangle. Okay. There we go. And the first one on the bottom is a clear square. One next to that is also a clear square. Ah. And the last one is a solid circle. Alright, let's press the button. And that worked. Oh! Oh, I found the button! What did you find? I got the button too. Oh, okay. So we got two instances of the button. Let's go put them in the machine. Okay. Yeah. Better note down what the path was on my ticket because I think we're going to be needing that to solve the next one. I know that stopped pretty abruptly there. Sorry about that, but the video is getting a little too long. And um, I'll probably, uh, when I finish editing it, it'll probably be a, quite a few vid videos by the time I'm done. Um, but uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope you like. Uh, hope you liked it, and that go follow Bandolera Roja on DeviantArt. She's pretty cool. So, uh, stay safe, and thank you all for watching, and this is Brushfire Wind Dragon signing off.